replacing my HIDs, uh, which I have in here, and then I have a standard bulb here because that bulb blew. So as you can see, uh, to our far right, uh, that's our HID bulb. To our far left, that's our standard uh, bulb. Uh, these inner bulbs are your turn signals, and those are LED bulbs. Cool thing about those LED bulbs is that when you actually put your truck in gear, they will become a solid amber-like color. First, take off our grill. There are roughly, what do we got? One, two, three, four. Four screws on top that needs to be taken out. Um, once we get those screws, then we have this clip here. Uh, just take out flathead and pop that off. And this um, is broken, but as you can see, typically there's a screw there. At the bottom, you have these hooks that uh, pretty much these plastic hooks that just pretty much forks inside to secure the bottom. So I'm going to pull up and then pull away. I'll pull the clip, pop that out, pop that out, and do that one and that one. And then once you're done, you just pretty much take it, pull it, and kind of wiggle it. and it will basically pop out of its rivets. Unbolt the screw here, that screw there, and that's one right here. One, two, and it would be a third one, but this headlight was previously replaced and it doesn't look like they used the correct screw. Keep in mind that after you take the screws off, be very careful of trying to unloosen this headlight from the actual uh, case here or frame. The reason being is because it has this little plastic, these little plastic body mounts, and those suckers, they will make you end up destroying your headlight if you don't remove them properly. to give you an idea of what you're looking at. This is your low beam slash high beam. This is your turning signal slash, you know, people use it for a daytime running light without the headlights on. Um, this is currently LED. It's an LED bulb, as you can see here. And 
this is our actual hit light bulb. It's the stock hit light bulb. So what we're gonna do is pop this bad boy up. I don't understand why they get so filthy like that. I can never understand that. Um, before you even try to remove this out, you have to basically go in here and push down on this pin. There we go, I'm, I'm, I'm loosening. Once you have it unloosened, then you can pretty much pull her out. So this is what the headlight bulb looks like. It's got these three prongs. We're gonna save this. You need this. Uh, without using this, you're gonna cause condensation inside your headlights. This is what a uh, HID bulb looks like on the Tundra. This is pretty much a cooler, a fan, and this is pretty much the uh, case that it goes into. Again, we're utilizing the stock rubber garment. So as you can see, this is our LED kit. Uh, it's just pretty much consists of a baluster, two balusters, and a LED bulb. And it's got a fan to it too. Um, to basically determine what color your bulb is, you're basically gonna slide the film inside and then you'll slide it over the actual bulb. So it'll go over. So this is the film here. So if you if you combine these blues, it's gonna be super blue. And it's gonna be what? Yellow. And then that's gonna be like an amber color. Now, what I've been told about this kit is that if you do not put one of these films on it, the lights are gonna to be too bright and you're gonna get people flashing at you. I'm not trying to Do this behind camera. I keep hearing the bees behind me. These bees, they're serious. I'm trying to not cut myself either. It's not like a magnet. Anyway, we just twist. Got that bad boy out. And I think I just, oh, this is like a rubber, rubber gasket. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this glass on. Okay, that's excellent. So it is glass, just for people that wanna know, cause I was wondering, like, is this plastic that I'm putting on? Cause it wouldn't make any sense. Cause plastic around any type of bulb would burn unless it's, you know. You wanna get it tight enough, not enough to crack the glass, but enough so that way you can prevent any you know, fluids or anything going inside, prevent condensation. So now we're just gonna plug this in to our, our uh, stock, plug this into our stock uh, socket. So what I'm, what I'm seeing is that I need to unscrew this. This should be able to come off. Yep, and there we go. So that goes through there. So this is the correct way insert and then bam so now this should help us with reseating and sure did i'm just turning this metal piece to make sure that she's locked and tight all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and reseat this so one two three one two three Three, okay. As you can see, one, two, three. So I think we're looking like that, straight down. So I'm gonna get that situated now. Bring you guys back. 
Alright, so I got that side in. There's the paint in the rear. She looks good though. Definitely looks good. The paint to get that metal clip to to secure in its socket with this thing on. Um, it's 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 a pain, but it's a process, and you just gotta take your time. But anyway, um, once you get that secured, uh, this wire pretty much just connects into that socket, and you're good. Uh, again, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm referring to when I'm referring to this metal clip. So basically, uh, your socket goes into here, and actually. I can do a better demonstration if I get a socket. Here we go. So, these are the three prongs. And I apologize because I'm losing light. And you basically see them down. I gotta spin it around. Just trying to look at it. Oh, there we go. So that goes like that, and to secure that to that, you basically take this and you push this thing down. You push this thing down, and it latches down like that. God dang it, man. Tell you, man, these, these damn birds, man. That fly so so close to you, gets you shook. And then I, uh, I honestly believe the birds be laughing when they see that you shook. I'm like, yeah, we got them. Get away from my nest. I'm just pushing this back to make sure she's good. Look at that. That's a tight, that's a tight squeeze. And I'm not even, I'm not even done yet. So now I'm gonna have to, see. She's seated in there for sure. Now I just gotta put my finger down. Nice, son of a gun. She's almost there. Where is she? Oh yeah, she's in there. Let me just make sure. Yeah, she's in there. So now, just rub this all around. Make sure she's good. That's nice and snug. Take our three prong. This thing is filthy, man. I don't know how the heck this thing is so damn filthy. I think it's just the grease around it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this back up in there and then put everything back together.